Hello, fifth grade. We're getting started um, on Science 8.6. You're going to be reading pages 231 to 237. Now, we've been talking a lot about weather, and we've been talking a lot about clouds, and so now we've learned about all of the precipitation of clouds, but now we're going to also learn a little bit about the result of that precipitation and also a few more things going on inside of clouds. Okay, so you do have a diagram that you're going to be filling out today, and that is based on this uh, diagram I have here. And so what I want you to remember is that we've been talking about the different types of clouds. And so we did talk about the cumulus cloud, right? And those are normally the fluffy, puffy, white clouds. Those are usually short-lived clouds, okay? They're small, they're fluffy, they kind of float in the sky, and then uh, eventually they dissipate, okay? But from those clouds, sometimes is the cumulonimbus cloud. And we learned that that is a cloud that also provides thunderstorms, or it's called a thunderhead cloud. Now, this is an overgrown version of that smaller cumulus cloud. And as more come together, it ends up building a bigger cloud, or as the air rises and more water uh, and warm air and water droplets um, uh, uh, come, then come together, then we get a bigger cloud that grows as uh, the air uh, is forced up into the sky. Okay, now if the temperature of the air near the ground is warm enough, and the humidity is high enough, those small little puffy clouds eventually turn into those big gigantic ones, okay? And so they can grow upward to hit the top of the troposphere, okay? And remember, we talked about the tropopause, and the tropopause is that part right between, somewhere between the troposphere and the stratosphere where the, wa where the temperature inversion takes place, right? So remember, warm air's down here, it's heating from the, from the Earth's surface, and then as it's being pushed up by the cold air, okay, that warm air then turns into cold air, the higher it rises, and then it gets to that part where it stops, and then the inversion takes place where it goes from cold air to hot air as it's going up into the atmosphere, okay? Now, be, at this part where that top layer is of the troposphere and that new start um, happens where the tropopause is, that is where we cap off our uh, clouds. So now a lot of time you'll see these really big clouds and mainly when you can see them far away it's better. Like when you're really far back and you can look and you can see these big white puffy clouds really really far in the distance, you can see that the top is actually kind of flat because guess what? It gets to that part, that tropopause, and the cloud can't build any further because that's where the inversion of air takes place, okay? So at the top of the cloud, we end up having something called the anvil top, okay? And that is because this shape uh, is part of a um, metal shop um, or a, a steel worker, metal worker's um, uh, uh, tool that they used to use um, in metalwork, and so it kind of looks like that where it's flat up on top and it kind of goes like this and it's for banging and welding. Um, and so that's where that nickname came from or name came from. Okay, so when you're taking a look at your white puffy cloud, your cumulonimbus cloud, okay, let me show you what ends up happening, okay? Um, and make sure that you watch those uh, videos that I provided you um, bef before or after this video um, because it really is important to watch those and it makes more sense on, on some of what I'm going through on my notes, okay? So here is your cloud and what's happening is the warm air is being updrafted up okay because it's changing right and wind is coming this way and cool air is coming down as that warm air is coming up now what's happening is is remember that warm air is coming up and as it comes up it ends up starting those little ice crystals and then those little water droplets okay and those ice crystals start coming downwards but sometimes they get caught back up in that upward lift 
okay? And then they go back up on top and they collect some more water and as they're coming down, then they go back up again. And what are those little parts of water called? Those, uh, that precipitation was hail, remember? And it keeps going in this vicious cycle of starting to come down and then being thrown back up. That was hail, remember? Um, and so sometimes when the water gets too uh, heavy, it does end up falling and it passes through that warm air because it can't, it's too heavy, so the warm air doesn't push it back up. And it comes down and it comes down either in rain or hail or sleet or snow and so forth, okay? Now, what's also happening is our lightning charges here, okay? And so as that water's coming down, we have those negative and positive charges that are occurring, and that's again in that video, it's very helpful to watch that, and that's where it's showing the lightning um, coming out of this type of cloud, okay? So when you see one of those big clouds that's white and puffy on top, but then it's starting to get gray down in this area and gray down in this area, Area, that's because that is a thunderhead and you're going to get some severe weather from it okay so now there's a couple of notes I want to show you okay one we have the front remember we talked about that the cold front or the warm front now that is the boundary between the two air masses so that's where the two air masses come together and then you end up getting those uh, warm front cold fronts and that's where you end up getting severe weather okay you also have what we call the squall line, which is a row of thunderheads that builds up in the front, um, in front of advancing cold air, okay? So that's gonna be lot, a few rows of thunderheads getting up together, okay? They're building up, and that's because that cold, that warm air is going cold, right? And that cold air is rushing them uh, uh, or pushing it in from a different direction, okay? So you will have that row of thunderheads would be called a squall line, okay? Then we have our anvil top. Remember, don't forget what that was, okay? And that was, sorry, that was the um, broad, flat top of the cumulonimbus cloud, okay? That's up on top. I'm gonna drop my paper, hold on. I don't think I need it anymore though, okay. Then I've got thunderheads. Now remember, thunderheads are the cumulonimbus cloud that causes, that causes, yes, I need another S there, severe weather like thunder, lightning, and tornadoes. Okay, that is our thunderhead. Okay, something that looks like this, right? Then we have that severe weather, which is lightning. Well, lightning is the result of the positive charges building up in the very tall clouds, okay? So if you watch that video, it's gonna explain more about how the lightning and the positive and negative charges start, and that's how it ends up um, causing lightning, okay? Now there's different types of lightning. There's lightning that comes down through the clouds, there's lightning that goes from cloud to cloud, and there's also lightning that hits that comes from the ground and from the cloud that connect, okay? But one lightning cloud, or one, one type of lightning is called the sheet lightning, and that's bolts, uh, lightning bolts that do not come into contact with the ground and they remain in the clouds. And so sometimes when you see lightning storms in a cloud, you'll look out and you won't directly see the lightning coming too far down to hit the ground. You'll just see the lightning or even the glow of the lightning out in those clouds. That is gonna be your sheet lightning, okay? We see more sheet lightning, I think, than we do ground lightning because um, even though it does strike the ground a lot, we have that positive and negative charge going very dramatically in this thunderhead because of the cold air and the warm air and the cold air and the warm air, okay? The positive and negative charges, okay? Then we have thunder, okay? Now thunder is that sound of the shock wave from the rapid expansion of the superheated air, okay? So because of the lightning, okay, and we have that lightning, um, and that's that buildup, okay,